Hey guys, Wiley 1080 here, live on my computer desk, playing more The Inner World. And in the last episode, we finished chapter one of this story, and we're obviously going to move into chapter two here. We're going to start off doing that by talking to this strange animal. Sorry. It doesn't want to give it up, and its teeth look pretty sharp. Okay, well, how about we, uh, give him a little tickle. Just a little tickle, and, uh, we'll see how that on, turns out. Spit that old liar out. Ooh. Sassy one, Robert. <laughs> it was in his mouth for a second. Thank you very much. Someone should dethrone you. How you doing today? What are you then? Hello, my little. Can I pet you? Hello, young fella. Woo. The answer to your first question is, I am a gorf. A gorf. The answer to your second question is, no, not unless you wish to die a cruel death. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I like his Scottish-ish accent. Scottish-ish. No That's a word. Not many know I can. Most of the people who ever got to know me are dead. Oh. Actually, all of them are. Um, well, isn't that delightful? That ninety-six percent of my body consists of lethal poisons. Oh my God! Okay yes. then. I live safeguarded, but one becomes a bit lonely after a while. Oh, I'm sorry, man. So I, I don't think you actually have to talk to him here, but um, like if you're playing the game, then obviously you can. So, what do we need here? We need one of these, a thorn from the thorn bush. Ouch. Ouchie. Very affectionate bush. My bad. Hi, uh, Conroy, you've been through a lot. How about we use him? Because he deserves it. Ooh, damn, Robert's putting on the sass today. The sassy sauce. I like it. I like it a lot. So, trap set up. Let the tumble mouse come. That little adorable thing, that's a tumble mouse. And watch it, just watch. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. And let me grab this while we're at it. That's what she meant by helmet. Ah, there we go. Come on. Come on, I know you. Come on, I know you want it. 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 You're a good girl. Go away, you grab me. Must wanna get nasty. Go ahead, get at me. Right now. Oh well. Hold on. Come on, mouse. Too high. Tumble, mouse. Get, get, get the poop down here. Get down here. I wanna talk to you. I just wanna address a few things. I'm sick of you always hiding out in that tree there. That freaking stupid ass tree. <sighs> All right, fine, fine. How about that then? Oh, now you decide to come down. Yeah, that's right. Can't move, can ya? That's right, you stupid little puke. Alright. You're mine, Tumble Mouse. And guess what? You're going straight onto this frickin' helmet there. And... Babushki. Look at that. Isn't that just adorable? Alright. Now I'm gonna put on... I'm actually going to put on this helmet. Safety looks stupid. Safety looks frickin' adorable with that Tumble Mouse on it, you liar. Okay, now, let's operate this tree here, and kick. Hey, got some fruit, and the humble mouse seems to be just fine. So he's gonna float away, Wee! Brave right. helmet, you've done your duty. I think the tumble mouse is like ten times as brave, man. I mean, the, the tumble mouse was honestly the one that took the fall there. So now we're gonna take this little tree fruit, and we're gonna go bowling. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, maybe not. Darn it, it's slipping out of my fingers. I can't throw it. Um, hey, uh, Gorf. Oh, come on. Okay, wait a second. Move. Hey, Gorf. Can you use this? Can you do I something with this for me? Him to death. Very considerate uh. of you. <laughs> well, clearly. Oh, wait, you... Hello, so I, I do have to talk to him about Hello, something. Okay. Have you been <clears throat> okay, I guess. <laughs> I need your help again. Yes, we do. I always offer a helping hand to my fellow Asposian. Asposian. Only in a figurative sense, of course. 
Yeah, because if you... Well. <laughs> People dying. Immediately. Yes. It's not that funny when you think about it. What I wanted to ask was... Uh, are, how dangerous are you? So, um, would you describe yourself as poisonous? It's the primary self-defense mechanism of my species. Gotcha. Oh. So you can survive in the root forest even though it's so dangerous. Okey dokey. To speak the truth to you, what makes the root forest so dangerous is the corpse. So, how many of them are exactly polite like you, and you don't kill everything instantly? Well, that's beautiful. Interesting. Okay, very nice. Let's talk about those claws of yours, man. so dangerous about your claws? Well, let me put it like this. Actually, I can only move on sturdy rocks. On any okay. other surface, I get stuck because my claws dig in. Interesting. With time, this stone will also give way. I imagine wow. that must be very exhausting. Well, it's not that bad. It keeps me fit. Huh. Huh. Okay, then. So now that we've talked to him about his claws, we can actually use those claws to create an actual bowling ball tree fruit. Hey! Mazel tov! Okay, now let's really go for the 7, 10, 8, 9, 3, 4 split! Steve Crabs. Yeah, you did. And who was here to- oh, oh. Oh shoot, no oh, no. This is not good. Oh great. You is there an explanation? Um I disarmed the traps. Give him some credit for that at least. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's all your panties. You at least you're wearing them. How? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Who's there? Well, uh, I just wanted. You're a wind monk. You're wearing wind. Oh, hey, guy. <clears throat> this fabric conceals bloodstains. Please don't kill me. Right I didn't then. Intend to break your trap. Answer truthfully. Are you a threat to the secrets of the root forest? No. Uh. I'm not dangerous. I'm the opposite. I'm undanger. Um. Conroy always told me. Conroy. Mm. Conroy! Rotten, devious, treacherous dwarf. Oh well, we've got some common ground then. Chestable, naked mole rat again. I'll kick his wrinkled ass until he can wear himself as a hat. What? No. I yeah, I've exactly. Never, I've never heard of him before. Well, <laughs> I, I used to be his apprentice a long time ago, but that was probably more than an hour ago. You'll <laughs> talk sooner or later. He's talking quite a bit right now. I'll get you down. Oh, that's actually really nice of her. Jesus. Oh my. Somebody's got some anger management issues. Alive? Okay, oh. yes. Alive. Barely. But we got a small box, and you will play as long as Robert is trapped, we will play as Laura. Okay, well, that a uh, nice change in gameplay, I suppose. Not a bad thing at all. So we have to get Robert down. That's one of our objectives here. And we'll come into more as soon as we head off this way. To Oopsie! That's not what I meant to do! Oh! And these loading screens are so long! And stupid and boring. It's like Lego Island, except worse. Except it's not. I'm just kidding. I'm completely joking. The loading screens are actually not, not bad at all. It takes like two seconds. Oh, it takes me out of the immersion of the game. Oh my goodness, so much. And, uh. What is your problem? Right, well, let's talk to these strange guys. What's. Hey, what what's going on? characters are you then? What are you doing here? Are you well developed oh, characters? We have a visitor. Great! 
You're the same voice actor as Detsa. You can't fool me. I know who you are. You're Detsa. Nice arrow hat. May I ask what you're doing here? Aerological research. What does that mean? That sounds advanced. Don't be so hard on her. She's just a cleaning lady. Yeah. I mean, she's never heard of aerology. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, the aerologist? Is that some kind of religion? Religion? <laughs> Aerology is the science of the wind. It's a difficult field. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Religion is for weak spirits and holidays. We <laughs> explore the gods' That's a good joke. with gauges. Are you talking about that box back there? Box? Tola, did she just call it a box? Oh, oh yes. yeah, it looks like a box! It looks like a cardboard box with a hole cut in it. Box? This it's an advanced box, okay? It sends out analog impulse vehicles, which we use to precisely analyze the wind. That sounds very advanced. And we draw these winds onto the map. Hmm. The Erica Charter. Oh, you're alive. Hi. Okay. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit more about that machine there, why don't you? machine doesn't move. <laughs> it ran out of fuel. Oh. Besides, our friend poured honey into the tank. And oh, idiot. Do it again. Why I would you do that? Just go back to sleep. Why is he here? Kick him off the team. He does not deserve a cent from all the money you're making from How doing this, if you're right? making any money it's at all. very complex. A little too complex for a maid. <sighs> the machine strategically That's sends out small borderline sexist right there. Sexist right there. Previously determined directions. It's able to engineer this itself. So it spits out paper planes? Yeah. Correct. My goodness, have you ever thought of switching professions? See. And with these paper planes, you can determine wind current. Exactly. Nice. But well done. We hadn't yet discovered any flow paths before the machine broke down. You mean before the sleeping guy poured honey in the tank? Correct again. Someone who's sleeping has very good balance while holding up a freaking telescope. Of coarse grained materials. So, mud. Well, you mix swamp water. Dude, that's actually really advanced. Mud. Something that can run on mud. That's amazing. Fifty-fifty. Damn. Okay, well that I think explains pretty much everything that we need to know. If you make the beds, um, could you maybe put little chocolate mints on the pillows? Oh yes, Keep that in mind. I love those. Maybe I could just put a dead tumble mouse under your blanket. I love tumble mice. Do, but do you like dead tumble mice? Because if you do, and you like them in your bed, that makes you a bestialiac and a necrophiliac as well. Be bestiality. What's the word for that? Someone who likes bestiality. I don't know. Anyway, I think I actually didn't start a timer for this one, so I'm afraid of going over like 25 minutes of recording. So I'm just going to stop it here for now. So, until next time, this is Wiley Tenady signing off saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. Please continue to watch as I play some more of The Inner World. See ya! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below, leave a comment if you wish, and subscribe if you want to see more. I also have a DeviantArt and a Twitter page, and the links to both of those are in the description below. Thanks again. Much appreciated.